In the science, technology, engineering, and math field, often referred to as STEM, women face challenges as they pursue their passion because of how dominated it is by men. We still face a lot of adversity, especially in the form of microaggressions, which people tend to believe don't exist, but it's more easier to recognize when they're aiming towards you. And this even like expands to like indirect uh, sexism. I've definitely felt kind of a bit like an oddball. Um, I also, you know, developed imposter syndrome. I just kind of compare myself to everyone. Those are the kinds of things that put you down and mm, limit you. Despite those challenges and doubts that women face, they stay positive and motivated. Knowing that I can champion that adversity, it motivates me to continue doing that, to tell other people that they weren't right about their misconceptions about me and other women like me. I'm sure that many other uh, minorities in STEM degrees or pursuing STEM degrees feel the same way. One reason um, that motivates me in STEM would be to help other people. Um, that's definitely one of my passions in life. Ohlone College has a club dedicated to building women's success and presence in STEM, which is the SWE or SWE club. SWE is the Society of Women Engineers, which is an international initiative. Our goal is to promote diversity and advocacy for women in STEM so that they can reach their full potential within their careers. Each club meeting is eventful and is open-minded to the members and their ideas. During our meetings, we plan to do a lot of um, various activities. So we plan on doing um, professional development workshops, technical hands-on projects, and um, different networking opportunities for students. We can brainstorm for literally every meeting and um, create different ideas for every meeting um, based on recent things we've learned. Like for example, last uh, semester, I had recently learned how to solder and I talked with the president and she was like, you should totally teach the rest of the club to solder for our next club meeting. The club has been successful in showcasing their projects, but also helping each of the members in different ways. We had so many different projects, um, lots of different um, STEM events on the campus that we were able to um, participate in and promote our club. Um, there was like a STEM summit where we were able to show case our 3D printers and our our um, laser cutters um, and like a robot arm display that we did that we programmed. We like to invite speakers to hold workshops um, speaking on topics such as like uh, choosing the right degree for you, creating a LinkedIn account, career building, and other soft skills like that. SWE has had a positive impact on its members, becoming a home and safe space for them. A really big way that like helped me champion through that was joining clubs like these, like SWE and other engineering clubs here um, that promote diversity and inclusion. It makes me feel at home. I'm really grateful for groups like SWE um, that have like a support system for me to rely on other people and um, learn from their experiences and um, just get their insight on how to help me with this kind of thing. Women have high hopes for themselves in the STEM field. My hopes for women in STEM are that they are confident and that they know that they are capable of whatever they set their minds to, um, regardless of their gender or their skill set. My hopes for women in STEM is that one day people can name female engineers as easily as they can name male men in STEM. In the long run, I would really hope to see more women in STEM and the amount of women just kind of exponentially rise. Although woman is in their name, anyone is welcome to join and have fun. Our club is super cool with really exciting new topics every meeting. Anyone can join. Um, you know, you don't have to be just a woman to join. Um, SWE, um, just if you know you have an interest in STEM or passion in STEM or you would like to advocate for women in STEM, you know, we open our arms to you um, and we welcome and everyone to join. The SWE club anticipates to have their first meeting in October in room 1305. Look out for the club fair for more specific details. From Ohlone College in Fremont, this is Aliana Pasta for Ohlone Tri-City News.